this may help somebody <clears throat> so basically this trailer had only um, one left rear light you can see this one Let's see if I can turn it around yeah I'll show you uh, hold it. So basically, you see that one flash here, and this one is not, right? Okay, check this out. I pulled it out. This cord is broken. Should have been connected to this bolt right here, the negative. That's all it needs. And how I'm going to affirm that's all it needs is I'm going to take this, I'm going to touch it there, I'm going to press the light for it to come back on while I've got it touched on this negative just right there on that negative. Look, look at that. So while I've got it touched right on that negative right there, it's working. So, light's working. All that has got to do is take this bolt out here and um, put another, you see the pieces here is broken that it was, it goes over that bolt. So, you can order a pack of these if anybody has, ever has a trailer and has this issue. You can order a pack of these right from Amazon or eBay. And um, choose the correct size for your wire or whatever size you want to use. And you can clip this wire a bit to make it sharper. I mean, um, to get fresh wires. You can shave this insulation off this wire and make it um, to um, have fresh wire exposed. And then you can stick it down in this little tube here and clamp it, right? clamp it on and then you take a heat gun similar like this you can get a heat gun for about 10 to 13 dollars just like this from my favorite store harbor freighter or any of your choosing and you just hold the heat gun around here till this melts and it's gonna what it's gonna do you see how this has an opening over the wire it's gonna seal close that it's gonna seal that and then you just stick your light everything back inside attach this to that screw and put the nut on the other side by the boom by the bee. Simple as that light issue fixed. All right.